Nestled off the Beeline Highway in southeast Florida, Palm Beach International Raceway is a two-mile asphalt road track which regularly hosts top-level drag racing and karting. It's also the Floridian headquarters for the Bertil Roos Racing School. The school is a professional racing school teaching road racing through formula cars. Been in existence since 1975. It was uh, started by Bertil Roos, who was a Super V champion and had one Formula One start for the Swedish Grand Prix back in the day. Developed a very, very European and very good style of teaching people the art of road racing. But our demographic really is aspiring pros from the age of 13 or 14 and on. And then we have the bucket list people who have always wanted to try this at least once. Dennis Macchio has spared no expense on the quality of his instructors, hiring the services of a retired American sports car champion and a British Olympian. I love to teach, that's why I'm here. I've been teaching racing for 40 years. I was the two-time American Formula Ford, pro Formula Ford champ. We had like 18 lap records. Before that, I was the uh, Formula Magazine driver of the year a couple of times, but now I love teaching. I was an Olympic skier for Great Britain for many years. I went to three Olympic games. When I stopped ski racing, I was invited to a charity race. My sponsors wanted to go to Grand Prix. They said, do you want to drive a Grand Prix car against Nicky Lauda and Mary Andretti? And I said, well, that sounds like fun. The school is set up to teach a wide range of aspiring drivers to race and feel comfortable going fast in a 150 brake horsepower single seater. We try to teach as much as we can about performance driving. Learning how to deal with fear, learning how to correct mistakes on a racetrack so they don't necessarily wind up in a wall somewhere. We firmly believe that you can't learn sitting in the pit, so we give them a lot of seat time, separate skills, work on separate individual skills, and then combine them at moderate speed. We're very serious about racecraft. I want to know that when uh, somebody is through our advanced school, if they have the proper judgment to know when to make a move, how to make a move, and how to affect it carefully. The whole process is start slow and build speed on top of that and that is not something maybe that people do normally. We try to encourage those guys who are not very confident to go faster and they'll find the car comes alive when they go a bit faster. It, it doesn't like going slowly. Racing is not first about speed, it's first about control. Um, and that's, that's something that was a real surprise for me. So uh, I'm working on controlling the car, not necessarily being the fastest guy in the, in the pack, but uh, having great technique. The track itself is very demanding, but also rewarding once the confidence levels while driving the cars kick in. These are uh, Scandia Formula 2000 race cars. They were designed by Bertel, strictly form follows function. They're designed to be cheap to maintain, extremely safe and extremely drivable. They have qualities associated with them that address themselves specifically to what a student needs to learn his first week in a race car. It's got a Ford Pinto engine. It has an H pattern gearbox. They are enormous fun to drive. They're fast enough to get your attention without being so fast that you're scared silly. It's like uh, sitting in a bathtub that's just a little too small for you and driving at 120 miles an hour. But they're, they're awesome. For Macchio and his instructors, the aim is simple, to teach safe, fast performance driving and hopefully produce some racing stars of the future. I take putting somebody on a racetrack with other experienced drivers very seriously. If somebody's going to get in a car that's capable of 150 miles an hour, at least through me, they're not gonna do it until they're really vetted and experienced, and that's the way I run the racing school.